All right, let's talk about batteries. These, you might recognize them as Tesla batteries. Tesla's kind of the only company that build uh, big giant packs like this for their electric cars using the very, very famous uh, 18650 cell format, right? So these are very similar to their Model S batteries, but they're not. These are actually RAV4, Toyota RAV4 from like 2012 to like 2016 or something like that. They made these uh, for Toyota and uh, the car has six of these modules and then four of these. So these at 12S, right? They're about 44.4 uh, volt nominals and these ones at 5s are about 18 and a half volts nominal right so it's pretty weird six if you do the math six plus uh four of these that's about 92s which is like 340 volts nominal but you know and whatever it works right that's just a number usually uh tesla battery packs are 96s and i think that's kind of like industry standard now they're going above like to 108 110 12 uh 355 volts nominal was the you know the, the the traditional standard that was starting to form in cars but now obviously there a lot of these cars are trying to run to 800 volts but these are you know from uh, a few years ago so these are pretty cool this one right here is 2.6 uh amp hours uh, uh kilowatt hours and this one is 6.3 almost 6.4 i think kilowatt hours I think new, it was like over six and a half kilowatt hours. So I'm basing that on the cells. There's 45 cells in parallel. And those are usually about three amp hours. I think they were 3.2 amp hours, but Tesla never really used them all the way up. Of course, now that we're going to use this for, you know, our own DIY purposes, you could use this and charge them all the way up the last uh, 10% or 20% and then you can get all that capacity. But these are a few years old, so they're probably, they have some degradation. I don't know, there's not enough of these for me to set up, make jigs instead of and run. Uh, these are huge, right? So it would take a lot of energy, a lot of time for us to measure the capacity of these. We're just measuring voltage, making sure that they're not corroded, making sure that there's no visible signs that these are compromised in any way right and so that's we're selling them we got them cheap we're selling them cheap we just want to pass them on and these batteries right here are really really great for car conversions right uh you can use this for anything right but because of the energy density these lend themselves really good for car conversions and i have these ones here for that reason right like take this for example this right here it's 70 pounds right and this right here it's 70 kilograms, 70 kilos, which is about 164, I think, 164 uh, pounds, right? So this is more than um, more than twice the weight, right? Now, how about capacity? Well, this one we said is like six and a half kilowatt hours. This one's like eight and a half kilowatt hours. So this is like there's more than twice the weight, but for about 30 or 40 percent, 30 percent, yeah, probably 30 percent uh of the capacity or something like that right because these are eight these are six six and a half eight. so there's yeah so and and that's just the uh weight right the volumetric is also different right like if you pay attention it's about the same length here but this one's skinnier so maybe you can get rid of like all these cells here and then this one's like way higher so you can take yeah so it's about 40 to 40 percent or 50 percent more volume than this one right here, right? And so uh, for that reason, you know, if you put this battery, this is a lithium iron phosphate. These are great cells, by the way, really high quality and stuff. The only thing is that they're not as energy dense. I think this one's come out to be about 110 watt hours per kilogram, where you're looking at 200 watt hours per kilogram. And we do have some other batteries that are higher, like these I-Pace ones, the Jaguar I-Pace. These are higher. I think these are like nearing 250 watt hours per kilogram right so that's why those are really good for conversions these are really good for conversions these ones put them in the wall yeah put them in a big box uh and then uh you know you could use them for for storage right solar storage or some kind of other stuff like that something that uh, audio uh, car audio competition car audio really loves these because they can put like crazy amounts of power these are like legit five six c cells so they can put like you know 600 amps 
Um, and these ones are not, I think these are like 3C or something like that, right? So they can put quite a bit of a, a, a amperage, enough to run a car, right? So that's what we would recommend this one's. There's a small batch of these. It's only about two cars worth. Uh, there's two sizes. These ones, we can actually ship them. They're within the specs, the regulation specs. These ones are not. These ones are over 70 pounds and the, and the size and stuff. So the only way we can sell these is we put them in a pallet, right? So you would have to buy a few of them to actually make sense. So we're going to put these and list them on the website if you want to buy them. Uh, if you're local to Southern California, great. Come, come by and pick them up. We'll load them up in your car. We'll put them in a pallet. And then you can have a nice little battery conversion stuff. If you're outside, yeah, you're going to have to put them in a pallet and we're going to have to get a quote, all this stuff. It kind of complicates the thing when we're trying to ship big, big batteries. Uh, but if you are interested in these ones, this is a 5S, right? Uh, for 144 amp hours, 18 and a half volts, right? These are great. You could build something like that even with these. And these we can put them in a box and ship them. Uh, other than that, if you're building a solar storage thing or a car audio competition battery, buy our <laughs> lithium iron phosphate uh, batteries, right? These are great. They last forever. They're super safe. These are very energy density. They're very compact. They're very light. So use them for your conversions. Okay, we'll talk to you guys on the next video. If you're interested in any of this stuff, go to jack35.com. As always, we have new products coming up all the time, and we're trying to... We buy them cheap and we sell them cheap, you know, just to try to save you money <laughs> on batteries. All right. See you guys in the next video. Bye.